Let's move now to a dramatic and very troubling incident at the State Taman military base in southern Israel, where hundreds of Palestinian prisoners from Gaza, some of involved in the October 7th attack, are being held. Now, IDF military police today entered the facility to detain for questioning nine reservists serving there following allegations they may have been involved in the abuse, even the sexual abuse, of one of the prisoners. Now, in response, Knesset members and activists from National Security Minister Itamar Ben Gvir's far-right Jewish Power Party forced their way into the grounds of the IDF base, demanding that the Army Advocate General end its investigation into the abuse allegations. Well, here's what Minister Ben Gvir had to say, along with one of the activists speaking to I-24 News there at State Taman today. I call on the Army Advocate General. Take your hands off our reservists. Like it is in the prison service, so it is in the IDF. Our fighters deserves full support. First of all, I was injured at the Sterot gas station on October 7th. We came here because we won't allow the Army Advocate General to arrest our soldiers. Our soldiers protect us with their bodies, and they are getting killed every day in order to protect this nation. And we won't let them be destroyed. And we will fight until all our fighters can return home. We won't compromise. We won't move from here. We've set up tents. We'll sleep here until all our soldiers can go home. Now, in fact, the pro the protesters were um, uh, turned away from the base uh, uh, by uh, police. Uh, uh, took some time, though, apparently. They say no force was used. Now, Prime Minister Netanyahu did release a brief statement condemning the break-in at the base and calling for a calming of the situation on all sides. Defense Minister Yoav Garland said that, quote, even in moments of anger, the law applies to everyone. The IDF chief of staff, Herzl Halevi, said the actions of the activists at the base were illegal and endangered national security. And Yeshati party leader and uh, opposition head Yair Lapid tweeted this. The break-in at the state Taiman base is a despicable and dangerous criminal act by Knesset members who weaken and undermine the IDF, weaken and undermine the state of Israel, gnawing away at the foundations of our power from within. The politicians who abandoned the abductees, abandoned security, destroyed Israeli society, are now destroying the chain of command and sanctifying criminality and crime. Daron, I am sure in your long army career, you have had to deal with investigations. Uh, you commanded uh, some units that involved in very tricky operations there. Uh, I'd have to say the reaction to it's a mix that you were having across a lot of the pictures political spectrum, condemnation of the activists and Knesset members who forcibly entered this army base, but at the same time condemning as well the army advocate general for the detaining of these nine soldiers. So I want to get think, your, uh, I want to get your, certainly yeah, get your take on The this. breaking into the camp is unacceptable. An army has to work, there has to be discipline, there has to be a conduct, there has to be a chain of command, there has to be a code of behavior. And if the army decided that it has to take into questioning somebody. This is part of the uh, what the army has to do. In fact, this is the way we secure our soldiers from allegation outside, because we actually, in a credible manner, judge all the operation in the battlefield and for sure uh, in the way we, they deal with prisoners. So the behavior is unacceptable. I'm fully in the side, of course, of the IDF, <laughs> as myself as an IDF veteran. And I think it's very, we have to be very careful not to politicize issues that has to do with the conduct of the army. This is really a, a, a precious place, and if you enter there, you can really break uh, the chain of command of the army, and then the army would function in a fashion which would be dis a disaster to Israel. I mean, this is a serious event, and I think we'll have to... Right. Uh, there was some criticism, and I want to give uh, uh, sure. to the other side of the way the Army Advocate General uh, and the, the, oh. the, the officers involved that were arresting the soldiers, uh, if they he handled it right, going on to the base, and unfortunately, footage came out showing them arguing with officers on the base, yeah. uh, which is something uh, you very rarely see. And oh. how... There is a... I think it's going to be... And, and I should say that the the uh, Knesset is going to hold a hearing sure. to investigate this, even the circumstances of, of how these uh, nine soldiers were detained. Yeah, but there's an autonomy to the IDF. There's an autonomy to the legal system of the IDF. There's an autonomy to the chain of commands. One, you break into this autonomy. There's members of parliament that allow them to break into a camp. This is really threatens the, the 
the strength of the army. And I fully agree when I hear Herzi Alevi says, listen, you are really hurting us, the IDF. So I think we have to be very careful. Events like this cannot uh, be repeated. Now, uh, Nicole, stay Teman is, uh, this is not the first controversy involving this, and it has been a target uh, of certainly criticism, both from certainly uh, uh, elements here in Israel and as well as abroad internationally. We haven't heard so much outright condemnation yet from international entities, specifically not, the U.S. Well, not to this allegation. Not to because, this, exactly. Because but this just broke today. Exactly. But I don't think that it's going to—I I do expect some words to come out probably soon, because, as you said, this is already a place that has been under multiple investigations. It was just a, a month or two ago that the Associated Press published a, a pretty wide-scale uh, article talking about a lot of the abuse that they said they found inside this exact place. To, uh, prison facility. And so the message that this really sends to the world right now, uh, from many of these images at least, is that two things. One of them is that all of these allegations of IDF soldiers mistreating uh, many of the detainees, it's clearly, or this could be an indication that those allegations are in fact true. And the other message that we also continue to see condemnation for is the extreme far right uh, parties that are feeling very brazen enough to commit something like this, these extreme far right parties that have also been under, let's say, sanctions even from the United States. So there's a, a target on some of those as well for these extremist activities. And so both of these together, both of these actions do not paint a good image right now, especially in the international spotlight. All right. I just briefly, I'm going to speak from personal experience now. I served in the IDF during the first intifada and during my basic training because there were so many Palestinian prisoners. I was pulled out of my basic training for the artillery and made to guard Palestinian prisoners, a position their own, I was not qualified for. It's not an easy task, and it's really tricky for sure. But, you know, anger and feelings of revenge are not good recipe for the conduct of the army. In the end, we have to be very calm, very cool, and win the war. And to win the war, we also need the legitimation. We need to secure our soldiers from allegation outside. We have to trust our chain of command, and this is the most important thing right now.